Traditional firewalls do not provide a comprehensive protection against application security specific attacks like SQL injection, cross site scripting, session hijacking or DDoS attacks. These attacks are primarily targeted at the vulnerabilities in the web applications. This is when a web application firewall comes into picture. Web application firewall or WAF as popularly known as works at the layer 7 and tracks web traffic to, to provide protection against these web application vulnerabilities. Hello and welcome to Information Security Governance Risk and Compliance. My name is Salvador and today we will review Web Application or WAF Firewall. Let's get started. Point number one, configurations. Ensure that uh, the organization has integrated all the critical and public facing applications as well as APIs in the WAF. Check and verify that the WAF is configured in blocking mode. Also make sure geolocation is set in blocking mode as well. Check that the WAF has built-in protection for common threats such as OS Top 10 and OS API Security Top 10. Alternatively, ensure that rules are configured to cover OS Top 10 application vulnerabilities, particularly cross site scripting, SQL injection, session hijacking, etc. Check and verify that advanced malware protection policy is enabled and the latest signatures are updated. Make sure signature updates are kept on auto download mode. Point number two, WAF security. Check and verify that the hardware device is updated with latest firmware and security patches are installed. Make sure that the WAF appliance is not end of life or end of service. In many cases where patching vulnerabilities becomes difficult, Ensure the WAF can perform a virtual patching to block exploits attempts on known vulnerabilities. Point number three, logs and alerts. <clears throat> Make sure that the WAF appliance is integrated with SIM as well as performance monitoring tool. Ensure audit logs are enabled and the interface utilization and fail over alerts are configured. Point number four, access control. Check and verify that access to the WAF appliance is secured through a secure authentication mechanism like TACAX or through a privilege access management tool. Make sure MFA is enabled for all privilege users. Ensure a strong password policy is implemented and user access review is performed regularly. Point number five, backup and availability. Check if configuration data and logs are backed up and retain as per the policy requirements. Ensure high availability is maintained and that primary WAF configuration is same as a DR. Verify the failover testing results and check that NTP is con configured appropriately. And finally, point number six, secure configuration and compliance. Ensure if secure configuration and hardening is performed and minimum baseline document and SOPs are maintained. Ensure WAF secure configurations meet security compliance requirements of that of SOC 2 or PCI DSS. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe, like and share. See you in the next video.